Where have our letters gone? There is a danger that the old and venerable art of writing classically will be lost in our civilized world. The Holy Spirit used the pen of man to give us the sacred scriptures. Letters have been treasured and kept over the centuries. <coughs> Courting couples have written letters which were kept for years and years and years. There is a famous picture in Holland. It's called The Letter. And it captivates a moment of time. It's being read and everyone is listening. I did a course years ago on epistolography in the context of classics and it was fascinating. Letters had to be carried manually. The waiting for a letter to come is part of human experience. Balzac has a passage in Eugenie Grande where this girl is waiting every day for a letter to come from the distance where the one that she wants to marry has gone into but nothing is coming back. The waiting. Even the Beatles actually captivated in the period of the 60s when letters were still being written <coughs> and then while I'm away I write home every day and some courting couples would have done that and then again please Mr Postman will you look and see is there a letter in your bag for me a while back I was talking to a local postman, now retired, and he was saying that towards the end of his working life he was carrying only bills. Years ago I was given this. <coughs> it's a letter opener and the wood is Irish yew. 2,000 years old. And how many letters have been opened by this? Each one very different from the last. And I remember looking at it in 1995 and thinking about these letters that were coming at the time when everything was in the balance. And indeed, one letter did push that balance in one direction. It was the kind letter from the prior of San Antimo. Now, people write texts and emails, but they're not written with the same care. After people's death, one finds all kinds of correspondence, at least if they're of a certain vintage. I was moved, clearing out the things at home. Ma'am actually had kept all my correspondence for years, and they were still there in chronological order. Newman actually wrote a copy of the letters he was sending and they can still be read and how he wrote well that classical English style now people can't even spell or write grammatically correct English what has become of the old art of epistolography and is our civilization 
richer from this impoverishment with regard to what will perhaps not be there anymore. As in the case of the classical pictures, now people use just a click for one more and another and another. In days of old they cost a lot to develop, so people took a lot of care and they're still there physically. We are living now in the virtual, the disposable. Alas, if only people could relearn the blessing of a kind word sealed in a little envelope. Better opener. The years sapped by this trunk have passed us by and yet remain to ope the sealed space of slender thinking pack. The anguished eye will here vibrate as in the distant face unseen peers loudly through the silent page and strokes or stabs the innards that feel all the years, I say, are here. For though we age, we have the power from hour to hour to call. And in this gentle slitting of one day, let yesterday to lie. There is a throng of mysteries hid. For what one page will say will in our history's furrow linger long. And what we are and will have been will be revealed, small tool, nay, for a sealed by thee.